Welcome back for another edition of Amateur Hour MTG. Starting us off, we have Sugar Cane playing Shalai and Halar. Plus one, plus one counters go. Brrr. Then you have Hercules playing Orberigmos and Fibblethip. Look, I'm a five drop in the command zone. Going third, we have Token Princess playing Drina and Linvala. Lady Stacks. And lastly, we have Connor playing Yargle and Multani. That's not a tree frog. Perfect. Marsh Flats, I will be searching for a plateau. There is said plateau. I will then play a Mox Diamond. Cute. I will discard a Lucija who endures. I will then play a Mana Crypt. I will then tap the Mana Crypt and said Mox Diamond for a Basalt Monolith. Hand is better than mine. I will then tap the plateau for a red mana, the basalt monolith for three colorless mana, floating one colorless mana for a wheel of misfortune. Uh, are we ready? ready? One, two, three, reveal. Hey, we hey, lose ten life. We lose, yes. we lose ten life. And you lose no life and you keep your hand. And I lose no life and I wheel. You do. So discard and draw seven. Second. Surge of Salvation and Swords to Plowshares are going in. I'm discarding Underworld Breach, Glenhorn Buccaneer, Mystical Tutor, Fiery Islet, Lotus Petal, and Windswept Heat. Ha, uh, how's that for? Now I know my opening hand. What are you discarding over there, friend? Ruthless Technom Technomancer, Land of War Elves, Windswept Heat, and Two Force. With my one floating colorless that I have left, I will play a Mana Vault. And pass the turn. Draw. Play a Command Tower. We're now playing a handicap game where we start with 40 and they start with 30. It's accurate. But I have seven cards instead of six. Cast Jeweled Lotus. I have seven instead of five. You went down to five? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. He's a brave lad. I did that on purpose. <laughs> was not good. Pass the turn. I will draw for turn. Scrub land. Mana Crypt. Warstone. Great, that's another white. So two whites for my Scrubland Fellwar Stone for a Grand Abolisher. Seems good. And I will pass lay turn. Command tower. Pop it in. Into nothing. Pass the turn. Cute. <laughs> untap. Upkeep. Odds all year. Nope, I will take the damage. I will draw. Yavamaya. I will tap the Mana Crypt, floating one for Rhythm of the Wild. I will then tap this Mox Diamond for a green and cast Birds of Paradise. Birds of Paradise will enter with haste. I will tap my Birds of Paradise for red and my Mana Vault for three, and I will cast a Dockside. Okay. I have uh, two colorless floating from the Vault. Okay. Three total treasures. Three treasures. I will use all three treasures and one of my floating mana to cast my Commander. Um, I will give it haste as well. Dockside will have haste too. Um, I will proceed to send my angel at you for, for three and Dockside on the ground at you for one. No block. Angel to token princess. Pass turn. Any event step, I will cast Worldly Tutor. There you go. And your response? You got it. Worldly Tutored for Phantasmal Image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Perfect. Cool. Untap. Okay, draw this mystery card. You guys don't know what it is. So what'd you draw? A card. <laughs> Play a training center. Cast phantasmal image. I got nothing. Got any way to kill the dock side? Nope. Mm-mm. Huh? Looks like it's a dock side. It's gonna enter as a copy of dock side. How many treasures do I get? Uh, you'll get five from me and two from her. So I have seven treasures. Three green mana, a blue and a red, 
living five treasures. I'm going to cast Poor Brigmos and Fibblethip. You got it. Cool. It will enter the battlefield. I may draw a card, and then I may discard any number of land cards. When I discard one or more lands, or one or more cards this way, it can deal twice that, damage, that much damage to target creature. So I will draw, and choose to discard. I will discard Stomping Grounds to deal two damage to Grand Abolisher. Because, you know, we get to showcase the new cards that way. That's the only reason. I love showcasing new cards. Right? Okay, I will sacrifice two treasures. One for green, one for blue. Cast Neoform. Sacrificing Borbrigmos is an additional cost. No response. This good. isn't good. Get it out of here. Pretty sure we just lost. Niv miss it, Perun. Have fun with that. The Perunist ones. Hey, he'll enter with a plus one, plus one counter. I'll stack these last three treasures for blue mana. To cast. Ophidian Eye, Ophidian Eye. <laughs> Targeting Niv Mizzet, Perun, not the Phantasmal Image. Does that resolve? I don't even know what that does. So, this reads, when Enchanted Creature deals damage to an opponent, I may draw a card. This reads, whenever I draw a card, this deals one damage to, to any target, and whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, I draw a card. So, so if you cast an instant or sorcery, I would draw a card, I would deal a damage, if I deal it to a player, I would draw a card, I would deal damage, I would do it to a player. So you have an infinite combo if we play an instant or sorcery. That is correct. correct. Or if he does any damage with that creature. Got it. And after all of that, I can do no more. I pass the turn. I accept the turn. Per turn. Turn. Whatever. Uh, rolling for mana crypt, I will do odds. And I'm Gucci. Draw for turn. Oh, this is fun. Ancient Tomb. White. White. And I will float one for Ranger Captain Phileas. She enters the battlefield. I can search library for a creature card with a mana value one or less. Reveal it, put it into my hand, and then shuffle. Got nothing. No response. Um, I've revealed Esper Sentinel, and that will go into my hand. We're probably still just dead to Sugar Cane's turn playing a creature and not anything else, so... Even though I am scary right now, I understand that. Well, you went on your turn. Passy turny. I attempt to. And this is turn two. So there is that. I didn't cast the Dock Side, he did. I do blame Cane for... What'd you get, three treasures for it? Seven. No, you got two treasures, did you? Your dark side? No, he got seven. He, got, know, he got seven. How he many got, did you get? I got three. three. Oh, you got three. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I will demonic tutor. Trigger Niv Mizzet. That, the game's over now. Oh, well. Not necessarily. I don't have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 104 cards in my library. You don't have a way to recycle your cards? Um, no. But what I can do is deal 40 damage to you and 27 damage to you, drawing 67 cards. That's what I'm gonna do. Then where will the damage go? Um, then the last one, it's a May ability. It's, a, it's, this one's a May ability. May draw a card. Okay. So I can do the last damage and not draw a card. So I'll shoot you for 40, you, you shoot you for 27. So I'm drawing 67 cards. Good lord. Untap, upkeep, draw. So I will deal one damage to you with Nimizit on the draw, but I will not. I will decline the draw with the enchantment. Okay. Well, I certainly have a land to play. I'll play Spire Garden. Okay. Three mana, I will cast an Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing my Phantasmal Dockside to search for a four drop or less and put it on the battlefield. I'll put Eternal Witness that? onto the battlefield. 
It's going to return Flinthorn Buccaneer. I will play Mox Diamond, discarding a land. I will play Chrome Mox, exiling an Orcish Lumberjack. I will play a Mana Crypt. Cool. Okay. Red, red, and two. Cast Glinthorn Buccaneer. Okay. Move to my end step, discard down to seven, dealing 54 damage to you. Fog. From that. Just kidding. Sounds Fog. great. <laughs> <laughs> GG. GG.